And as I, I want us to look at the book of John chapter chapter 13, that is verse 34 to 35. This is Jesus, Jesus who was talking to his disciple during the last supper. He, after taking the, the, the last supper, Judas left the room, you know, so he was left with the other disciples. And this is what he was telling these other disciple, a new command I give you, that is John 13, 34 to 35, a new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. This is Jesus just telling his disciple, yes, uh, during my ministry years, those three years, guys saw you with me. Me performing all those miracles, they saw you with me performing miracles, going from one place to another, ministering from this, day, this church to another. Guys saw you with me. The people saw you and witnessed, indeed, you are always with me. But what this one thing that will set you apart from the rest of the people, yeah? yeah. People saw how much I performed miracle, how much I showed love, even by dying on the cross that I'm going, this is before he died on the cross, yeah? The, people saw you, people saw me performing so much miracles, people saw me doing this, showing love to even to the children, to the sick, to the elderly, to women, yeah? So if you love one another just the same way I have loved everyone else people will say indeed you are my disciple this is one mark that will set you apart and people and will prove that indeed you are my disciple so jesus is just telling and encouraging this disciple love one another just the same way i have loved you so you have you must love one another one another by these old men will know that you are my disciples not just any other ordinary people, but you by expressing the love and loving each other will be a mark that indeed you are my disciple. And I'm reminded that uh, even, even this, this mark of love, apart from that, as Christians who are born again, you know, we get born again and we start flagging around our salvation. Don't judge me. Don't do this. You know, I'm born again. But what else do you have to show apart from your salvation, you know? I, I, I understand, I understand. Salvation is not that reset button. Ile nyo ukioko kanga hivi, unenda kwa factory reset. That! And then you change. No, no, salvation is a process. Yeah, it takes time. It is a process. So I'll just allow, uh, encourage you that you allow yourself to go through that process. I remember when I got born again, same, same years, like size eight, seven years ago, almost eight, yeah? Uh, I remember God took me through a process, working through me, as in, and I chonga in very different ways. Yes, but you know that 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 year that I got born again, there are things I did not struggle with. I just the grace was sufficient that I was able to just to release. You know, we to come and kwa club, I didn't even struggle with those. But there are things that I. I, I struggled with and I, I allowed God to work through me by the Holy Spirit. I just allowed it because the moment you give your life to Christ, the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in you. So I allowed it, the Holy Spirit just to manifest itself strong in me. It's the first thing that God dealt with me was that unfor unforgiveness. Wile yeah? una hold grudge for so long for no reason. That is the first thing the Holy Spirit dealt with me. And I allowed myself to go through process it was very painful but that will not lie to you it is very painful just allow yourself to go through that process yeah but that transformation process because your salvation that mark is not enough what is that other thing that will set you apart to actually see people saying that indeed this person is born again apart from your to salvation and kanisa sunday what is that one thing that will set you apart from the rest of the people yeah and then non-believers what is that one thing what is what is the difference between you and someone who is not born again ask yourself that what is that one difference that one thing that is that is that is that difference between you and someone who's not now we'll send you to second peter chapter 1 verse 5 to 7 which says for this reason mm -hmm, make every effort to add to your faith goodness yes you have your faith you have been born again you have you believe in jesus christ you believe in his resurrection you've given your life to christ now the holy spirit dwells in you the moment it starts manifesting itself in you what else can we see from you? We have faith. We have the, uh, for this reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness. 
and to goodness knowledge. And where do you get this knowledge? The Holy Spirit gives you. Remember it gave Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Bedrego the wisdom and knowledge, you know. Yeah. And to knowledge, self-control, very rare. And to self-control, perseverance. And to perseverance, godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, love. So you're born again. What is that one thing that sets you apart from the non-believer? You can read all this in the book, in the Bible. I will just encourage you as I wrap up. I will encourage you to allow the Holy Spirit to manifest itself in you. Learn to listen. Learn just to take time to sit down and to listen to the Holy Spirit. What is it that it's telling you? Does it want to deal with your pride in your life? Allow him to just manifest himself in you. Set that pride aside. Let that ego aside. Let that CG, whatever, selfishness aside. Be kind. Be gentle. Let the Holy Spirit let us know you by the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Hey, hey. And that marks the end of Inspiration Vibe. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, do, do, do you have anything to add on that, TJ Nix? Yeah, one amazing thing I love about what the Bible scriptures in a same about uh, our, our salvation. Mm -hmm. let, us, uh, let us exercise it with fear and, and trembling. Yani, watch it to we guard, watch it to we treasure that it is a gift to me a God. So whenever time we are proud of it and exercising it, imagine all the fruits, all the promises that God may say, at a amewekea, ame set aside for everyone who is called by his name. Mm. Imagine, zote zita waka kwa life yako. Mm. So, eh, hey, alafu, hizo fruits, okay, you know, kuna fruits the Holy Spirit, kuna the gift of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. but unona, kuna, I think, kuna core values, ama kuna character too, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, salvation, ama nisema, fruits of salvation, watch as you know, you be kind, be good, anything that is hindering uh, mtu kuona salvation in you, ama kuona the God in you, yani, achana tu na hizo vitu, yeah, watch out, mm, exactly. Christ mm. did not take it, comes up. Yeah, and actually, mm -hmm. he paid a price for it, unajua, ili tuokolewe manze, Yani kuna, yani his only son, his only, only son had to die. Yeah. yeah. Ili that was his extent of love. So mm. he's telling us, love one another so that it can set us apart from those other people. Yes. And it can be evident enough to everyone who is watching us that indeed we love each other and we are setting a good example for everyone. So that the only way we can attract people is just by uh, loving them. You know, we can attract non-believers. Mm. It's just by loving them. Mazi sasa ukisemanga umaukuka na unachukia jirani. Aje. Ili aje, aje sasa. Eh, mazi umaukuka na weni mchoyo. Mazi aje. It makes sense, mazi. Alafu kuna, kuna karakter tu mwoja maybe inakuanga inbuilt. Unajua mm. yu hayone kanangi mm. nje ya mtu, lakini kondani yake. Mm. Ile kuonea na wivu. Mm -hmm. Aji, yani, you, you, <laughs> your friend, your neighbor, your relative, your even, okay, mtu mwingine hata si lazima kuwe rafiki yako, your colleague mm. uh, uh, in, at job, anabarikiwa. There is an open door in his life or her life. Lakini wewe hapu kwa ndani unasikia, ah, sasa mbona yendi ya nabarikiwa, mbona na jifanya anga hivi. Mm. No, 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 vitu kama hizo. Yeah. Hizo atutawaiona, atutawaiona, <laughs> lakini ziko ndani yako. See, it's, it's all about your, yourself. So search yourself uone, uone kama unakuanga na hiyo. Ako kaspe kaka hiyo kitu mazimu. Mm, Umeni kumbosha di perfect yes perfect perfect uh -huh. but uh, nikakutana na bible verse pale psalms mm. eh, david akisema akisema blot out all my transgression and iniquity uh -huh. mazini exactly. ni humble before the lord mm. nikasema i cannot be perfect yes. surely i cannot so god just blot out whatever iniquity and transgression in mm -hmm. me because i cannot see it but you oh god knows me more better than i know yes. myself even though i can't to work on myself and any point here mazee you are too selfish mm. and, and i didn't know i wow. was selfish and I prayed uh, and I cried because that process was very painful for me. But God has been faithful. That is an encouragement to you, Mazi. Pray that prayer. Nasikia tu yaani hiyo hiyo story na nibamba sana. Because unapata another person exercises salvation, Manze. And Alin, anataka kulin on their own understanding of things. Their own knowledge. Unapata. God, ani kuna vitu tu anatuambia. Iyo, I think ask me or seek wisdom from me exercise wisdom wacha kurelay na knowledge yako sana sana ati ah mimi unajua mimi najuanga nikiwa nimeokoka mimi niko hivi na hivi yani una unaangalia vitu from the logic but wakati unatumia wisdom ya god more than the, your intelligence mm -hmm. you always be right na hakuna kitu ta hiyo point ulikuwa nasema ya mm -hmm. kuona watu wengine ni kama ah wewe mbona unafanya hivyo unajua wewe unaangalia from 
what you know it's right but also i think kuna kitu god maybe ana work in them uh unajua kutasema god ana kuanga behind every uh, person when you are called by his name ana work things behind the scenes every person is under construction till today yes mm. yeah, before twitter all to call but we tell like before guys I, I don't understand what you are going through and what we are enjoying in mm. this present yeah i want the denix to play a few songs and then we we'll back to wrap up the yes. show yes tunaendelea tu hapo request nyanyu kwa umetuma kuna mtu alirequest ngoma ya size 8 i think ni venye umesema hiyo testimony yake song inaitwa power power tuendelee na hiyo mix ya request zako yes